Bolillo. Who the fuck that? Isn't that just a type of food? Shout out Bolillo. <laughs> what the hell? It's your day off, but the weather's bringing you down. It's a cat, a very cute cat. What will you do? What the hell, bro? Hell no, nah, boy. I ain't paying them. Fair change. A spooky game about a cat. This game is not suitable for children or the easily disturbed. Human animal violence. What? What? Please take care of yourself. Whoa. What the skibbity? You're not having a great day as usual. <laughs> what the hell? Damn. You. Oh, great. It's the first time in a while that you felt like going out. For real, bro. So real. But in the middle of your walk, it starts to rain. Typical. But maybe this is just a sign that you should have stayed home today. Yeah, you can always try again tomorrow. Right? You turn to head home when? Yeah. What the sigma? Huh? What was that? There are only a few people around on the street. Makes sense due to the increase of missing persons around the area. Persons? Bro, what is up with everybody's grammar in their games, dude? Like, am I tripping or are they just so dumb? Due to the increase of missing people. Well, that and the weather. Dot, dot, dot. But none of them react to the sound at all. Curiosity getting your steps. You follow the sound to the entrance of a dark, dingy alleyway. You timidly enter the alley and walk forward. The ground dampened by the rain makes your steps sound louder and more confident than you actually feel. Finally, the sound sources come into view in the cold, dim light of the alley. At the end of the alley, in a big cardboard box. Oh my god, it's so skimmity. <laughs> Cuteness overload. Is a cat. Huh? Guess that should have been obvious. It's an interesting looking cat. Its pretty yellow eyes shine like gold amongst the dark sea of its black fur. It puts its front paws up on the edge of the box and looks up at you. So skibbity! And it definitely knows it. You've never had much of an opinion one way to another about cats before. But if they're all like this one, it's a shock they haven't already found a way to the rule the world. You don't think you'd mind bowing down to a feline overlord? What? Who made this, bruh? Did a free make this? You look around the alley with a small frown. Womp womp. Who leaves cats in the cardboard boxes these days anyway? Wouldn't they just jump out and leave the box eventually? The cat doesn't answer you. What? Obviously, bruh, it's a cat. Obviously. It also, oh, that's funny. It actually said obviously. It also doesn't, as you suggest, and leave the box. It's just looking at you. <gasps> as if waiting for you to make the next move. Do not take cat home. Take it. I'm taking it home, bruh. Shut your s Two dots. Three dots. You know what? You reach into the box and pick up the cat holding it out in front of you. Why not? <coughs> You're all alone and well. I'm kind of in the same boat myself, so you bring the cat close. You didn't realize it was shivering until just then, but it slowly breathes easier as it presses into your chest. Why not stick together, right? At least for a while. What the hell? You think a little while will probably be more like a day. You'll be responsible and take it to a shelter tomorrow, but for now, let's get you out of the rain, okay? <coughs> You stop by a small local pet store for some cat food, then head back home. You live in a modest apartment. One bedroom and one bathroom. One you living alone in it. So it feels weird having another living being inside it after so long. Even if it's just a cat. Who made this goofy ass beat, bruh? After locking the front door and placing the cat on the floor, you watch for a moment as it curiously explores the new environment. Leaving the feline to its own devices, you set about making both of you some dinner. You take out of the can of cat food and open it with tab on top. You put some cat food on a saucer and click your tongue to call the cat over. It pricks up at your beckoning and rushes over. It looks at the plate of food, dot, 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 and completely ignores it. What? Not hungry, I guess. You try not to let it annoy you. The cat doesn't understand the concept of money to appreciate that you spent your hard-earned cash on it. It's just a cat after all. I'll just leave it there if you get hungry later, okay? The cat rubs its body against your legs with a purr. You smile. Wow, how skibbity. That's enough of a thanks for you. It follows you into the kitchen as you start on your own dinner. You decide that you have enough ingredients for a sandwich. Bread toasted. Mmm. Mayo and mustard spread. Turkey and cheese and lettuce perfectly placed. Mmm. What? Ow! You wince as you cut your finger on the knife while slicing a tomato. Stupid. You feel a little embarrassed for such a blunder and sigh, tossing the knife into the cutting board. You're about to head to the bathroom for a bandage when the cat hops onto the counter. It sniffs at the knife and meows almost pointedly at you. Hey, hey, don't worry. I'm all right. It was just done. <gasps> you watch as the cat starts to. <laughs> oh, what? Yo, lick lightly but enthusiastically at the blood on the knife. What? At your blood. You're so shocked that by the time you come to your senses, the knife has been completely licked clean. <laughs> 
Yo! The cat sits back, staring at you. What the skibbity? You feel a little sussy. Sure, cats are meat-eating predators, but that was a little weird, right? Sure, you're a no-cat expert, but that was definitely not something an ordinary cat would do, right? <laughs> well, regardless, you're not about to abandon a cat and eat while it's still raining outside. Not after all your efforts. You were going to take it to the shelter tomorrow anyway. What's one night of awkwardness? Weird or not? It's just a cat. The rest of the evening, unfortunately, goes downhill from there. <gasps> Even after covering up your fingers cut with a bandage, the cat keeps trying to lick it at the wound. While you're eating your sandwich. While you're cleaning up the kitchen. While trying to watch TV. You gently push it away every time, but you're starting to get worried at the strange behavior. What if it's got a taste for blood and thinks you're a food now? You're not sure you'll do it if it starts to get more aggressive. You keep thinking about the cat food sitting in the corner, untouched. No! Uh, come on, enough already. You shove it away a little more forcefully that time out of annoyance. You feel bad immediately, but before you can do anything, the cat meows sharply at you and dashes off around the corner into the hall. You sigh deeply. At this point, you're just worried that it's going to take a bite out of you in your sleep. Whoa. Maybe a vet will have an idea on how to calm it down. You can only hope you don't have many other options left other than tossing the cat out in the rain. Whoa. After finding the number of a local vet, you pick up your landline and... <gasps> what the... What the hell, boy? The lights just went out. Great, just great. Rain must have knocked out the power. You check your cell phone only to find that it's out of batteries. You must have forgotten to charge it before leaving out earlier. The outing had been so spur of the moment that it had no doubt messed with your usual ro routine. You grab a flashlight and turn it on. It's quiet. It's too quiet. Did the rain stop? But then why did the power go out? You look outside. The sky is pitch black. What time is it? You turn to check the clock. <gasps> What the hell? Yo. The cat sits on top of your digital clock staring at you. Thinking now you realize the clock shouldn't be working at all with the power outage, but the numbers are lit up. What? And going completely haywire. The cat stares at you. It's completely still. You think it was a statue if you knew any better. It's not giving off any indication that it's alive. It's not blinking. It's not even breathing, but it's eyes. This isn't normal. You're afraid. You want to run, but you're afraid of letting the cat out of your sight. You consider tossing the cat out after all. But, as soon as the thought enters your head, you feel a sharp urge to vomit. What the hell? Those eyes, its eyes hold you still. Oh my god. Even with your flashlight trained on it, its pupils are large, round, inky pits. The flashlight flickers. And the cat is gone. Oh, yo. Oh hell no, nah, boy. Fear immediately grips your mind. The silence punctuated with a rapid pumping of blood in your heart is overridden as your ears slowly start to pick up the sound of static all around you. How is the clock working with no power? You don't know why such a question matters at the moment, but you feel as if having the answer will make sense out of everything that's happening. That order will be restored. But no answer comes to mind. You back away from the clock and feel as if the air itself coils tightly and abruptly in response like a prep like a predator prepared to pounce <gasps> but waiting waiting for your next move but you're afraid to move you're afraid to even take a breath <coughs> but you can't stay still forever right whatever's watching you can already feel its impatience it's too eager you don't know how you know this but you can sense it as clearly as it had whispered <laughs> That's crazy, bro. What is that? Right into your ear. Right into your soul. It won't let you wait it out. Not that you could even... If it did. You can't stay here. You have to run. With this thought, a sudden primal instinct awakens within you. Making you tear yourself into a hasty burst of a movement. Of action. But you're still weak from the fierce grip on your mind. Your legs tangle together in your haste and you fall to the ground. What the hell? A sharp pain explodes in the center of your foot. At first you think you've broken your ankle, but something warm and wet trickles down the length of your foot, pulling underneath it. You hear the sound of metal scraping on tiles after skidding across the floor as it had been kicked. What the hell? 
Wind it from your fall, you look up in the daze and see the object glinting in a strange light coming in from outside. The light pouring in from your now open front door. Thoughts of all when who would in regards to your inexplicably open door screen to a halt. As your brain finally identifies the metallic object you've been staring at. It's your kitchen knife. And still tinted red from your earlier blunder. But that's not right. Wasn't it completely licked clean by the... The cat. You gulp. <laughs> dryly at the pain in your foot. You barely have time to wonder how the knife ended up on your living room floor to be stepped on. Instead of resting on your cutting board in the kitchen where you left it. Oh no, what the hell? When you spy something in the darkness just beyond the knife, it spies right by and back at you. A pair of glowing golden eyes come forward as the cat emerges from the shadows into the light from your doorway. It pads lightly over to your knife as it's skipping in delight. And bends down to lap at the blood, dripping it from the blade. Your senses slowly begin to overwhelm you, the chill of the air as it starts to suffocate you under its weight, the sound of your shaky breaths discordant against the static now piercing your skull, the dryness on your tongue spreading to your throat, the incomprehensible sight of the strain you've taken in, licking away at your kitchen knife once again completely clean, sauce, the scent of blood from the fresh wound on your foot, blood, golden eyes slide up to you as if it responds to your sudden realization, blood, you are hurt. Your foot is bleeding. You are bleeding. You're bleeding! The cat barely moves, shoulders twitching as if it's just considering the act of pouncing forward. But you're already on your feet and out the door. You run or rather limp down the empty street. The sky is black and bleeding red. But there's a strange light emitting from nowhere that casts everything else in white. The houses, the trees, the roads, even you. Everything. Except your blood. You can just barely glimpse the blood, the bloody imprints your injured foot leaves in your wake with every impact it makes with the ground. It hurts. It hurts. But you can't stop. You don't stop. Not when the shadows grow around you. Not when you feel the gaze of eyes all over you. Not when the road ahead of you is darkened by a long shadow of something behind you. Even then you don't stop running because... <laughs> you better stop! It's the cat right there ahead of you. What? the hell this bro's chasing us bruh then what in the world is behind you oh oh shit what should we do bruh look like behind us or keep running oh snap oh snap huh interesting how very very interesting ending it begins what D there's 40 endings God, how is there 40 endings bro pet cat feed the cat play with the cat clean the cat on second thought do something alone like what watch a movie you were not tired enough for a nap but you're too lazy to get started on any of your chores so you decided to watch a movie you get dressed in your favorite pajamas make some popcorn with an obscene amount of butter damn god damn big pack bro and head over to your armchair only to discover that the cat's already napping in it you fun a little and thought. Womp womp. Your couch isn't at the best angle for optimal TV. We pleasure and you don't even feel like pushing it around and having to put it back in later. The only options you have left are to sit on the floor or move the can reclaim your throne. Reclaim your throne, bro. Get it out. Get the, get the hell out of here, bro. <laughs> Sorry, kitty, but that's my spot. You pick up the can, place it on the floor. It's clearly upset with you. you. When you try to pet it as an apology, it dodges your hand and scampers away. You shrug and put on a random movie before nestling in your chair. It's some horror film that you love to heckle from beginning to end. Nothing but an endless string of pointless jump scares. Did the writers not know the meaning of the word subtle? Crash. <gasps> what was that? Was that the bathroom? The cat must have gone into the medicine cabinet or knocked something over. Calm your thundering heart with a deep breath. You pause the movie and get up to investigate. <coughs> Whoa. The cat dashes behind your legs from the hall. Fleeing the scene only makes you look guiltier, you know? You're even more reluctant to see the damage now. You just want to relax and watch your bad horror movie. You go in the bathroom and turn on the light. Just as you thought, all the stuff in your medicine cabinet is scattered on the tiles. You sigh. At least one of it looks broken or damaged. You crouch down to pick up everything. Thing. Click. <gasps> Yo. Did the door just close? Did you bump it when you crouched down or? Well, at least this cat can come in and make more of a mess this way. <gasps> Yo, what? The lights. They just replaced the bulbs. They weren't faulty, weren't they? You never remember to hold on to your receipts for situations like these. You thought you'll be able to get your money back. What the hell? You stand up. You shake out the pain in your knees from crouching up in your medicine cabinet. You're cut again? Carefully, you place everything back where they belong, making sure nothing is missing. You close the cap. <laughs> What the hell? Ah! What was that? You jump back, slamming against the wall, covering your mouth. You look back up in the mirror in the medicine cabinet door to see. What? That's crazy. Nothing. Nothing? 
What the hell? Something, something was. You know you saw something just now? You know you did, right? Yes, bruh. You definitely saw something, yeah. What the hell? You rushed out of the bathroom and slammed the door behind you without looking. You entered the hall and... No. What the hell, bruh? No, 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 no. You shield yourself with your arms and... Nothing. Nothing again. You peek through your fingers and see... Just your usual hallway. You... You don't feel very good. You need to sit down. Oh, you got hurt again. You carefully make your way back to the dark living room, trying not to overwhelm your senses anymore that you already have. Maybe you should watch something a little more lighthearted or just lie down instead. You don't know. It's a little hard to think. You just need to sit down. Something forward, you reach your chair, but... <gasps> it's nothing at all. But it's enough. Your heart lurched so harshly out of a mixture of fear and anticipation that it completely gives out. Your eyes roll up into your skull. Oh my god, you can see the eyes. You're dead before you even hit the ground. What? Ending four? Real. Subtle. Yo, that's cool, bro. Okay, let's see. Huh, what's that? You realize that there's a slightly sealed Tupperware on the bottom shelf of the fridge? What is that though, bro? Blood? With worms? Boy, no way, boy. You don't recognize it. A fall odor is leaking from the container. Ugh. Brother, ugh. What's that? Whatever's inside can't be safe for human consumption. <laughs> Bro, so bro said a cuteness over there. But the cat seems excited about it, practically salivating over it. <sighs> Still, you're the caretaker here. You're the one who needs to decide what's best to feed a hungry cat. So you'll feed it. Mystery food, let's do it, bro. Is this really a good idea? Oh, uh, fine. I guess if this is what you want. Oh, we're about to die, bro. You open the container and... Ugh. You just barely managed to keep from throwing up. But just barely. The stench is overwhelming. <laughs> I see, bro. Boop. Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. You hazard a look at the contents of the container, but you honestly can't understand what you're supposed to be looking at. Everything is just mashed together. What exactly everything consists of is a mystery you're more than happy to keep unsolved. Ugh. Different shapes, different sizes, different textures. Not the color, though. All of it the same color. The most unfortunate looking shade of gray you've ever seen. Tinted with a not sheetingly? Not sheddingly? I've never seen that word. Wet green film over the top. Mm. Am I supposed to warm it up or? You don't really know how to serve it. Any utensil or a plate that touches it getting thrown out immediately. No exceptions. Your hands are going to be scrubbed with soap and hot water to within an inch of their lives after this. You decided against putting this crap in your microwave. You doubt it would taste or smell any better warm. Not wanting to behold it anymore, you shake your head and practically toss the container next to the cat on the counter. The cat enthusiastically dives for the toxic looking sludge, sniffing at it as it's savoring the scent. What? You turn to the fridge and close it. You've lost your appetite. Ooh. <laughs> You're about to head to the bathroom to wash your hands for the next hour or so when damn he's already getting he's already straight getting into it what ow a sharp pain on your foot causes you to stumble you catch yourself on the kitchen sink and look down to see that the tip of your sock is red and the red is still slowly spreading to the rest of your sock are you bleeding he has flat feet like me bro he like me for real you quickly reach down and pull off your sock to see the damage what he ate your what the hell bro ate his finger your middle toe is gone it's just gone just a stump is left in its place steady leaking blood onto the floor you clumsily step back as it would help you get away from what you're seeing the blood trail simply follows your movements 911 you have to call 911 boom where's the bro <coughs> 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 boom. what your tongue is <coughs> what's happening to me you slowly look over to find the cat still eating, completely unbothered by your suffering, now bothering to try and stop the blood from dripping out of your mouth. You keep watching in the days as the cat happily chews out a grosser piece of- Wait, that's- You look more closely at the mystery food in the cat's jaws? It looks vaguely familiar. It looks like a tongue? Before you can even think of to do anything to stop it, the cat dives into the container again and bites into a piece that looks like- what the hell? You collapse to the floor clutching your torso. You writhe around on the blood strike tiles. Something, something inside you just blood pours out from deep within you. Whatever that was. Whatever that was felt important. And now it's probably gone too. Your heart. Dude, the heart, the heart, bruh. It hurts. The heart, bruh. No way. It hurts so much. Stop. 
danger. You weakly try to reach up in the cat on the counter above you. Your vision blurs from the effort, from the pain, from your tears, from... <coughs> you're dead. Um, your eyes. Your eyes. You fall limply back to the floor. You're leaking blood all over, from all over. Your foot, your mouth, your insides, your eye sockets. You can feel your life fading away too. That's fine. If it means not feeling the pain of losing another part of you then. Hopefully the cat will take its time eating your eyeballs. What the hell? And give you time to just, just... Ending 10, you are what you eat. Bro, what the hell, bro? You know when you have a voodoo doll and you stab it, you get hurt? It was like that. Whatever was in the container, it was like a voodoo type of you. What the hell, bro? Let's not take him home. Sadly, as cute as the cat is, you'd never take this thing home with you. You just can't take it home with you. You're a responsible adult. You are with rent and bills to pay for, not to mention you need to buy food to survive too. There's no way you could care for a cat long term, right? You can barely afford the little outing on your day off. What to do? Leave the cat. You don't think it's a good idea to get that cat's hope of having someone look after it and you're not willing to commit. What if it gets attached and somehow tracks you down back to your home? Sorry, see you around, I guess. You stand up, the cat watching your every move. You make it halfway out of the alley when the cat meows almost pitifully at you. He's sad. Ignore. They're gonna keep ignoring it, bro. You need to nip this in the bud and get on with your day. It's what's best for both of you. You leave the alley and continue on your way. Wait, what was I doing? In all the excitement of dealing with your furry dilemma. What? This is a furry game, bro. You'd forgotten that you still hadn't decided on what you were going to do for your day off. Where should I go? Where should I go, guys? Nah, let's go to the dog park, bro. I feel like. He's probably gonna kill the dog or something. You decide to take a stroll in the park or something. The only one within walking distance is the nearby dog park. You think it'll make you feel better. First, you get to see a cute cat today. Now you'll get to see a cute dog. Several of them, in fact. The music, bruh. The park is bustling with owners and their canine companions. Playing frisbee, fetch, running, jumping, even napping. Such cuties. Whatever. Like you want anything to do with these mangy mutts. What? What's wrong? You didn't think that? You decided to move on, bro. The cat is controlling you, bro. The dogs are also adorable. You want to pet every single one you come across. But you know not all owners are cool with strangers just walking up and manhandling their pets. Not all dogs appreciate it either. So you scroll around the path trying to exude a welcoming aura that will beckon one of these cute doggies to you. You don't have to wait very long. You stop at, its, at the smallest, cutest puppy you've ever seen scampers up to you, blocking your path. So cuteness overload. Kick the p What? Huh? Bro! Nah! What the hell? You pick up the puppy and... <coughs> drop it! Hold on! Terrified, you drop the puppy to the ground. Practically throwing it from you? Bro! The owner shoves you aside with a... Cutting glare and storms away with their puppy. I'm sorry. You call out, but they don't turn back or respond. Not that you expected them to. You deserved it. You're not feeling so great about being at the park at the moment. Maybe you should leave? What should we do, bruh? Continue? You stay at the park. You try to calm down by watching all the dogs from afar as you walk along the path. But every so often, one will run up to you. What the hell? And when they do, they look wrong. Their owners don't seem to notice. You find a bench and sit down for a quick break, closing your eyes. Maybe this wasn't the best idea after all. Maybe you should have stayed with me instead. Yo, what? You're broken out of your thoughts when something lands gently on your lap. You look down and see a frisbee on your thighs. Hey, sorry about that. Can you throw that back? You look up to see an owner waving at you in the distance. But more importantly... What the hell? Bark. A series of excited barks strikes your gaze forward and you see a large dog sprinting towards you. What the hell? What the hell, bruh? A series of excited barks strikes your gaze forward and you see a large dog sprinting towards you. Hurry and throw it back. Oh, uh. Throw it? What the hell? The dog suddenly bounds at you angry, ferocious. It tears your limbs from your body? Was that real? You're not feeling so great about being at the park at the moment. Maybe you should leave. Okay, what should we do now? Watch a movie or go to the carnival? Go to the movie? All right, bet. Let's do a movie. Let's do a movie. It's been a while since a film came that looked interesting enough for you to drag yourself to a movie theater. There's a showing of one such film at the old theater. The movie was a little too niche to be picked up by the new cinema that opened right across the street. That's okay, though. You're not exactly a fan of the crowds. And nothing ruins the experience of watching a new movie for you more than a noisy audience. What should we do, bro? What should we do? 
All right, Ben, let's do it. You don't know why, but you don't really feel great about the idea of being alone, right? Deciding to wait for the movie you've been anticipating to be available on DVD or streaming, you join the long line outside of the new camera. Did I say camera or cinema? Outside of the new cinema. By the time you've reached the ticket booth, you just want to get inside. So you pick a movie on random and take your ticket from the tired looking teenager manning the booth. The decor is chic and sleek and the inside is bustling with people. It's not what you're usually into, but it's kind of nice not being alone. Even if you feel a little lonely watching families and groups of friends laughing amongst themselves. You get some popcorn, but the lines at the con a concession stands are long and the prices are criminal anyway. True. You go through the halls and follow the signs at the theater des designated on your ticket before heading inside. You sigh at the sight of the absolutely crowded theater. You head towards a seat only to be told by the person next to it that it's being safe for someone. This happens a few more times before you finally manage you get yourself settled into a seat and only off center to the screen but the screen is at least visible if not a little too close so you grit your teeth and bear it the lights fade out but the chatter doesn't the rest of the audience seems content to talk through the commercials and even through the trailers you figure the chatter will stop when the movie actually begins but it doesn't get even slightly quieter as the opening scene starts to play out you sigh out loud not thinking anyone would hear you anyway this is why you avoid movie theaters like the plague what the hell did i fall asleep or what suddenly the screen changes showing the face of a black cat Bro! a familiar black cat confused murmurs filled the room but then the cat on the screen meows what oh The sound is strange and not all like any cat should sound. Haunting, almost melodic, and layered as if it made multiple voices of different creatures. Creatures that would probably never say. What the hell, boy? You sit in confusion, wondering why you haven't already gotten up and left to complain to the cinema staff. But then you hear it. It's scattered and dissonant at first, but among the crowd, people started to channel along with the cat on the screen. What the hell? Oh hell no! Soon the entire room is chanting in a perfect unison, everyone staring intently at the cat on the screen. You're feeling strangely drawn to the screen yourself, but the composer to stare blankly like the others isn't that strong for now. Also, you start to notice out of the corner of your eye that some of the people in your immediate vicinity are looking at you. No, they're outright staring holes into you even as they continue chanting. They don't miss a beat as they slowly begin to frown at you in blatant disapproval. Their scowls deepen as time goes on as if they are getting impatient. Try to blend in? Yeah, I'm gonna try to blend in. Thinking fast, you look onto the screen and begin to chant in tandem within the crowd. You feel the harshness of their collective gaze start to ebb away. The air in the theater becoming lighter once again. You release air shakily, just realizing that you've been holding your breath earlier. You feel stuck. Surely you can't just up and leave now. Not after whatever all that was. The people around you all seem fine now. But there's no telling if they get aggressive at you for even moving too much. Never mind. Alright, getting up and leaving. You decide to let this run its course. Hopefully someone will come along right or at least turn the film off you continue to chant along with everyone you start to feel lightheaded you feel as if you could fall asleep but your eyes don't feel heavy in the slightest you try to look around and gauge the other's emotional state but you can't seem to look away from the screen you try again but you're locked in eye contact with the cat on screen <laughs> You attempt to physically force your line of vision away. You steal your nerves ready to throw yourself to the ground if you need to, but your body only gets far as tense enough for a moment for completely losing itself again, making you lay back limply into your seat. You think you should be panicking right about now, but even your brain feels limp. Your thoughts are vaguely muted pastel pink, airy, sickly sweet and loosely spun like cotton candy you like cotton candy you think you shouldn't mind your thoughts and body feeling like cotton candy either so i get up and ruin that it's nice here you're more at peace than you ever felt in such a crowded room still chanting you never felt so aligned in tune with their, another person let alone with an entire room full of complete strangers you're not you're not alone out of the corner of your eye the person next to you starts to sink back even further into the chair they sink more. What the hell? Then more. Not like they're slouching or reclining, but more like they're... No! Deflating? Their skin bunches up and wrinkles like fabric? As if their muscles, their bones have started to disintegrate? Their eyes then before sinking into their sockets? Their mouth still attempting to chant falls open over cut off? 
gaping as the word ends in an awful hiss, a final weak release of air. You muse thoughtfully about whether or not you should be distressed or at the sight. But even then, the blanket of peace doesn't leave you. Suddenly, from the pile of skin and clothes next to you, you see a lump moving around. You watch in dazed fascination as the lump makes its way to part of the skin where the head used to be, and out from the mouth. Hey yo, what the? What the hell? Crawls a tiny black kitten. Bro. You can hear the familiar hissing sound all around you now as the unified chant starts to fade. Only to be replaced with a faint mewling of kittens. Finally, your voice is the only still chanting still human. And alone. Again. You don't want that. You can't go back to that. Not again. Not again. Please. Just then you go completely limp. Oh no. We're gonna die. Your body feels light and might as well weigh several tons. Because you realize quite suddenly that you can't move. Not an inch. You can't shift your eyes to look around. You can't even breathe. But somehow, the chant continues to creak weakly from your mouth. A few kittens come forward and perch themselves on the chairs around you, watching your sinking body, mewling as they wait for their youngest sibling to emerge from you. Oh, Hilda! Dozens of glowing eyes peer down at you, and as your eyes start to cave into the sockets of your softening skull, you manage to make out the silhouette of a familiar cat perching on the seat right in front of you. Your vision finally fades. And as the same hiss of air expels itself from your mouth, the last thing your sense is something small and alive shifting eagerly under your skin. And in 18, happy birthday. <laughs> no way. You died and you were born as the cat, bruh. That's wild, bruh.